All right, this is now the continuation of our problem solving in a spiral. So if you haven't watched the problem solving of the spiral, you better watch it before playing this video. So in our problem, the, the radius of the circular curve is 200 meter and the length of the spiral is equal to 80 meter. But I forgot to mention you one of the given there, and that is the intersection of the tangent at TS and ST. So I will put it here. So the given there is actually 40 degrees. Okay. So I will now put it here. So this is not to scale because this is acute somehow, but the figure is obvious, but sorry for that. But you stick to the given that is 40 degrees. And we are asked to find out the length of throw, the length of the tangent distance, and the length of external distance. So the first thing to ask is what is length of throw? So when you say length of throw, that is the distance the circular curve has been offset due to construction of the spiral curve. So how are you going to visualize that? Okay, this is actually, this is your spiral curve. So to visualize that, imagine this circular curve is extended in its original position. Extend it in such a way that the tangent also on that point will be same direction with the tangent on the TS. I'm, I'm going to extend it like this one. From here, center here. So if I'm going to extend it, the distance drawn at the circular curve will be same direction with the distance drawn at TS. So the same mechanism works for the other side. So again, if you do this, if you extend the circular curve, its tangent drawn at the end point of the circular curve will be the same direction with the TS. The distance perpendicular to this one, to the tangent drawn at TS, and to this point of the original layout of circular curve that is known as the length of throw, which is, we call it letter P. So to determine it, the formula is very easy. That is just XC all over 4, which is technically the perpendicular distance of SC to the tangent drawn at TS, which is in our previous video, we already saw that. And that is equal to 5.33 meter. So if you haven't watched the previous video, you better watch it before playing this one. 5.33 over 4, that will give us an answer equal to 1.33 meters. And now the next question is the tangent distance. So when you say tangent distance, that is the distance from TS towards the point of intersection of the tangent drawn at TS and ST. So you have to measure this one. So this is what we call the tangent distance. Let me call it T sub S. And how are you going to get that? Okay, I will give you some of a very important idea about this spiral. If this point, which is the end point of the original circular curve, if this point, if you measure the distance from this point towards the TS, look at this, if you measure it, this is always half of the length of a spiral from TS up to SC. That is a theorem, which is, I'm not going to derive in this video, just accept this because if you are solving the tangent distance, you will always use this ls all over 2. And now next, to get ts, all you have to do is to create a right triangle. So to create this right triangle, you connect the point of intersection towards the center of the circular curves. And then after it, you have to draw from this point towards the tangent at ts. So if I'm going to draw a line from here up to this point, what did you notice about this one? This one is tangent to the circular curve. So therefore, this is perpendicular to the radius. And since this line, which is tangent to the circular curve, is also the same direction or parallel to the tangent drawn at TS, definitely this is also 90 degrees. Therefore, if you're going to trace this from here, towards the point of intersection, you can actually see a right triangle. So how are you going to solve for TS? By geometry, this one is always half of the angle of intersection. If this is theta, definitely this is 
180 minus theta all over 2 because 180 minus theta is the angle from here up to here. So divided by 2, you get this angle from here up to here. So this will be 90 minus theta over 2. So if you get the complement, this one, you subtract it again, 90 minus 90 minus theta over 2, you will find out that this one is theta all over 2. So that is simple geometry. So definitely, if this is 40, this one will become 20 degrees. If you are going to construct this right triangle outside to have a clearer view of the figure, this is 20. Now, this is 90 degrees. This one is, the radius is 200 and the value of P is 1.33. So definitely, this length will become equal to 200 plus this one, which is equivalent to 201.33. Meter. So, this is very simple geometry. If you want to get this length, let me say that this is h, just for a designation. So according to trigonometry, tangent 20 is equivalent to the opposite over adjacent, which is h over 201.33. So, 201.33 times tangent 20 will give us an answer equal to 73.28 meters. So, if this one is 73.28 meters, and this one is half of the length of the spiral from TS to SC. So this one will become 40 meter because the length of the spiral is 80. So definitely adding them, we have an answer equal to 113.28 meters. And finally, we are now ready to solve for the external distance, which is when you say external distance, that is the length from here up to here. So let me call it letter E. So that is very simple. This hypotenuse is this distance. So you can actually solve this by Pythagorean theorem or by simple trigonometry. So if you want to solve for this length, you take the square root of 73.28 square plus 201.33 square. We have a value equal to 214.25 meters. And then finally, we can now solve for the value of E, which is this length, 214.25 meter minus the length of the radius minus 200 meter. So therefore, the external distance is equal now to 14.25 meter. So this is the answer. So you see, you don't have to memorize so much formula. All you need to do to solve basic dimensions in spiral, you watch the previous video, you can see how I do it. And for other, like the length of throw, the external distance, and the tangent distance, all you have to do is a basic trigonometry. So just understand how the geometry of spiral works. That's it. Okay? So thank you so much. I hope you learned a lot in my video.